Hello everyone, I am your host RP and welcome back to my channel. Today I have right in front of you two lightweight ADV motorcycles. On my left is a Royal Enfield Himalayan 450 and on my right is a Kawasaki Versus X300. Now both of these are in the broad sense of the international definition of motorcycles they are generally classed as lightweight adventure motorcycles however the bikes you see in front of you can't be any more different there are several things that will put one bike better than the other in terms of off-road capabilities and on-road capabilities and i'm going to share with you what are some of these individual machines specifications and features that will make this an ideal choice for one purpose or the other let's first discuss how engines play a part in your decision adventure motorcycles generally come in either singles or twins and in recent years it would predominantly be twin engines for the most part generally a single is preferred for off-roading by virtue of being smaller and lighter while twins having two cylinders with less reciprocating mass tend to smooth out vibrations for comfort. The real indicator of a bike's suitability between on and off-road performance comes in how the power curve was designed. The Versys, for example, is designed to rev a lot higher at 10,000 RPM or more, allowing more flat-out power that is desired for riding open roads. On the other hand, a bike like the Himalayan 450 has all of its power coming down low at 5,500 RPM, making it gain momentum from a dead stop and overcoming obstacles and loose terrain easier. Next up, wheel sizes and construction as well as the associated tyre offerings also play a very big role in deciding whether an adventure motorcycle is better suited for the road or off it. Generally on bikes designed to work better off-road, you get larger but thinner 21 inch front and 18 inch rear wheels with spokes. This lets you cut into soft terrain to reach the solid surfaces underneath mud or sand for traction and roll over obstacles easier. The spokes also help by being flexible under pressure and taking pressure off your suspension while also being less prone to outright braking on a hard impact. On the other hand, with wider 19-inch front and 17-inch rear with cast wheels have less rotating mass due to the smaller size and lighter material weight, allowing better acceleration and speeds as well as being nimbler and giving finer control in turns. On top of that, the larger 2118 wheel sets tend to have better options in off-road tyres provided in the market, while the 1917 wheel sets tend to lack those same options. However, this isn't really a be-all and all thought process. Sometimes the wider tyres of 1917s are better able to float over relatively flat but soft terrain that isn't deep enough to require cutting through to reach the solid substrate underneath and sometimes 2118s are more comfortable for cruising down straight lines due to how much more gyroscopically stable they are. The last point to consider is geometry. Generally looking at rig and trail numbers tend to be irrelevant. They are set up specifically by manufacturers to work in harmony with the specified wheel size and weight balance of the machine itself. But ground clearance is an important number. Bikes with high ground clearance in excess of 200mm like the one on the Himalayan 450 are better able to go over obstacles one would find off-road and utilize the full travel of their suspension without causing damage to critical components. On the other hand, higher ground clearance increases the center of mass on the bikes that also negatively affects high-speed handling and the reverse is true. The other thing that is important but cannot be conveyed through spec sheets and will absolutely require your own personal subjective experience by sitting on a bike is how all the weight on an ADV bike is distributed. Bikes in the same displacement category and cylinder configuration tend to weigh nearly the same, being off more or less 3-5 to five kilograms off each other. 
Some bikes like the Himalayan has most of the weight up high that exaggerates the effect of momentum, making it easier to turn at low speeds found mostly while riding off-road but harder when cruising on the road, compared to the Versys which places most of the weight lower. Now, what do you think about the information that I have shared with you? Do you think it's helpful in helping you decide whether a bike like the Himalayan 450 is a better machine for you and your purposes or something like a Versus X300? If you like this video, do remember to give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you would like to support me and my endeavors do remember to check out the description below i have a shop link where i share where i sell a lot of other things like stickers t-shirts and mugs and every little bit counts uh, to keeping this channel alive and going stay safe ride safe and i'll see you next time peace out bye bye